Hey crypto kids and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking into Bybit's grid bots. Now they're very interesting because actually a couple of days ago I was talking with my friend and he was showing me that he was making passive income from his current holdings on the exchange by using a simple grid bot strategy and I found it pretty interesting. So just a couple of days after that I created my own grid bot and it was super simple and super easy to use and I already made some cool profits with it anyways. It's nothing huge but it could be a good alternative to make some passive of income. So that's exactly what we're going to be exploring today on this video. It is sponsored by Bybit, but I think it's just very convenient that it is because uh, I wanted to make this video anyway. So guys, if you want to follow along with the video, do make sure to check out the description where we have a link just for you, the CryptoKid audience, where you can get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus by signing up using the link. So ladies and gents, let's jump into it without talking much more because it is going to be pretty interesting. So the first section of this video is going to be understanding how the grid bots actually function. So think of them as digital helpers that follow your instructions to make smart trades. It's like AI, right? Think of it as AI. The quality of your input is going to equal the quality of the output. And the settings you choose, the parameters, it's gonna determine how effective the output is. So grid bots have two important lines on the chart. So we have the upper and lower bounds. Now these two bounds set the price range for which the bot will actually execute orders within. For example, this could be on an asset like Bitcoin between the price ranges of $35,000 and $35,100, for example. And you can decide the price range for buying the low point and selling the high point. It's just very simple. The overall schematic of the entire bot is that it buys low and sells high. But Anything outside this range, if the fall falls out of this range, then it is a no-go. And that's where the risk is involved. So for example, let's say that we choose Bitcoin. And I like to choose Bitcoin. I'll tell you why in the upcoming minutes, but let me explain this first. So let's say that we choose Bitcoin as the asset that we want the bot to trade. And we set the parameters for it between $35,100 and $35,500. Now, if the price drops below this range, below $35,100, then there's a potential chance that you're actually stuck with the asset and the bot isn't able to sell it in time. Which is why it is super important that you set up this bot for an asset that you're okay with holding in the long term. That's why I like to hold Bitcoin within this grid bots because it's okay. If I'm stuck with the Bitcoin, then so be it. I'm trying to accumulate more Bitcoin anyway. So that's why I mentioned your current holding. So if you're holding Bitcoin, maybe you want to put like, let's say 2% of your Bitcoin holdings, 1%. That's up to you. That is up to your risk management. Again, nothing in this video is financial advice. I'm just showing how you can use the script bot, but the risk management is up to you. Let's say you put 1% of your Bitcoin holdings, let's say that's equivalent to $1,000, then you could be making some nice passive income on this $1,000 trading bot that you've set up. And if it goes into the negative, then the worst case is you're just stuck with the Bitcoin, which is something that you would be doing anyways, right? So that is the catch of the trading bot. So the reason for these lines uh, is again to focus your money within a specific range where the bot can do its magic. So the second section is how the actual buying and selling works. So inside the bot, you'll find something called, funnily enough, grids. And each grid is like a dance move for where the bot buys at the low price and then sells at the higher price within your given range. So to adapt to price changes, the bot places buy orders at different levels. For example, like I said, $35,100 to $35,500, it will place buy and sell orders between this particular range. And when the price moves, the bot adjusts and sells. And each buy and sell combo is referred to as a grid, and each grid makes, well, potentially some nice little bit of profit. So that is the concept on how it works. But there's also another thing, and this is the frequency of the trades the bot sets. Now this you can customize on the bot itself and the bot function itself. You don't have many parameters that you gotta edit, and Bybit already gives you an auto-generated recommended frequency of trades that you know the bot should hypothetically execute, right? And it gives you an APR. So the more frequent you set the trades, your APR, your potential win, actually decreases. And when you reduce the amount of trades executed, then you increase the potential winnings. However, it's risk to reward. If you execute less trades, then it's riskier. Therefore, you have a higher potential reward. So 
like I said, if we're in this particular price range and Bitcoin is almost about to hit a price, but then slightly you miss it and then it sees a drop towards the downside, there is a potential chance that you're stuck with the asset because it's not able to sell it in time. However, if you have more frequent trades taking place, it reduces the possible chance that somehow misses the opportunity to sell, right? So that's the risk with reducing and increasing the frequency of trades. And that's up to you with your risk management. If you're a beginner, then you could stick with Bybit's auto recommended frequency of trades. And just another thing to remember, if you're putting anything lower than let's say $1,000 and you have a high total amount of trades taking place on your bot, you may end up losing a lot in trading fees. So if you're trading with more than $1,000, it's not gonna matter anyways on the macro perspective. However, if it's under $1,000 and you have a lot of trades taking place, then you may lose a lot on trading fees because the APR isn't that huge anyways. So your potential gains may not be a lot when you consider the fact that you're losing on trading fees. So that's another thing to keep in mind, which is why I wouldn't personally put less than $1,000 to run this strategy. So that's actually pretty much it with the entire trading bot itself. It's super, super easy. And you can literally view it on, if you're on the go or if you're at work, you can go onto the Bybit application and view your current bot and what it's doing. Is it making profit? Change it, set the parameters, close it, start a new one. So it's all that simple. And again, it's running for 24 seven, so you don't really have to do much after then putting the actual parameters for how you want it to run. But ladies and gents, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash up the like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell and let me know in the comment section down below. Do you want me to make more videos on things like this? And if you have a particular recommendation, also don't be shy to write it in the comments. Ladies and gents, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Take care guys and bye-bye.